Today's video is sponsored by Birch Living. More on them later. Let's explore homemaking through the beautiful lens of amethyst in today's video. Welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. As we all know, homemaking, especially in the dead of winter, can be monotonous and boring. I like to focus on whimsical themes for my homemaking that inspire me throughout the day. Lately I've been noticing amethyst all around me, so I'm creating an amethyst-themed homemaking video for you. The amethyst stone is a beautiful variety of quartz. The purple hues from the amethyst inject life into winter. Let's start by exploring the color amethyst in my outfit. I've always loved wearing purple, and today I'm wearing hues of it in my Bare Minerals eyeshadow, my London Town lip gloss, and my nail polish, which is Best Year Ever by London Town. This short sleeve sweater by Sky is the star of the show here, as this beautiful color could cheer up any palette on a dark winter's day. I'm wearing it with my Sky midi skirt and Jane Winkworth ballet flats. When stepping out, I'll wear a scarf to add polish and more whimsy to this outfit. This is one of my favorite silk scarves from Mont Kiji, the Butterflower, which has beautiful blue butterflies on it. While we've had some cold days in Southern California this winter, today is unseasonably warm, so this outfit is now complete. When journeying out, I'll add my Teddy Blake Ella Blue Croco bag. The beautiful blue and beige hues from the scarf and handbag complement the amethyst color in the sweater nicely. And now, let's make an apple, fig, and brie galette. This is an easy recipe with a very interesting blend of both sweet and savory flavors. I begin by peeling my apples. I found these mountain rose apples that have a red flesh. Aren't they beautiful? They're like little jewels. When baked along with the figs, these will give off a beautiful, rosy, almost amethyst hue. I peel the apples and chop them into rather large segments. Then I take some dried organic Turkish figs and chop those in half. Now in an oven-proof pan, I melt some butter and add the sugar in as well as the apples. We are going to caramelize the apples a bit before baking. Mm -hmm. 
I also add the figs and cook this on low. It's time to prepare the brie. I take a rather large chunk of brie cheese and cut off the back rind and cut the rest into pieces and set it aside. Then, I take some thawed puff pastry out. Once the apples and figs have caramelized, I flip the apples cut side up and scatter brie across the top of the pan. I then place the puff pastry on top. I bake this in the oven until the puff pastry is golden brown. And now it's time for tea. Today I'm having sacred lily oolong. When the galette is finished, I insert it upside down on a cake stand. Time to slice and enjoy. The brie gives a creamy and savory taste to this mildly sweet tart. What a delicious treat for tea time. I'm going to break away for a minute to tell you about Birch Living, who have kindly sponsored today's video. Birch is a premium mattress-in-a-box company that makes mattresses and sleep products that are stylish, comfortable, and environmentally conscious. Their non-toxic mattresses are made right here in America and are crafted with organic and natural materials that have been sustainably sourced. It was important for me to choose a birch mattress that is made with organic and natural materials because unlike synthetic mattresses, the wool in these mattresses makes it hypoallergenic as they are both allergen and mildew resistant. In addition to being a better mattress for us, birch is committed to being better for the planet. I love that throughout the creation of their mattresses, Birch ensures that their materials are produced and harvested sustainably. We've had our Birch mattress for over two years now and it's so comfortable and it gets even more so with each use. The mattress is easy to set up too. I did this all by myself. <laughs> so visit my link birchliving.com forward slash daily to get $400 off your Birch Lux mattress plus two free pillows. Thank you to Birch for bringing us this video. As we are exploring amethyst hues in this video, I thought it apt to create a beautiful bouquet featuring various shades of purple and its complementing colors. I will take some lavender-hued spider mums and mix them with blush roses and purple thistle to create bouquets for around the house.
Spider mums are members of the chrysanthemum family. I will never forget how to spell chrysanthemum because when I was a child, that was the word that knocked me out of the spelling bee. <laughs> The spider mum got its name because of its long spindly petals that are reminiscent of spider's legs. As you know, I like to look up the history of flowers. The mum has been discovered in writings as early as the 15th century. Pottery has been found from that time to show mums that look just as we know them today. They are believed to have originated in China in the 18th century, Swedish botanist Caro Linnaeus coined the name chrysanthemum, which comes from two Greek words, chrysos, meaning gold, and anthos, meaning flower. In 1989, NASA discovered that spider mums have the ability to eliminate toxins from the air by absorbing around 61% of formaldehyde from the surroundings. They are identified as a likely source of an insecticide as well, called pyrethrum, which is used as a flea repellent. Spider mums are also used in tea in Asia for medicinal use. As far as meaning goes, spider mums symbolize sympathy and remembrance. They are often included in bouquets to symbolize peace, and they can be found as tributes to the dead. I love learning about flowers and their history. They are such beautiful ornaments for our homes. The way they cheer up a tabletop or a dark corner is simply magical. I hope you enjoyed today's video and that the color amethyst infuses your winter homemaking with style. Thank you to Birch Living for sponsoring. Visit my link, birchliving.com forward slash daily to get $400 off your Birch Lux mattress plus two free pillows. Keep calm and remain classy, everyone, and I will see you in my next video. Love, Jennifer.